Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be opening something really interesting here. This here is the Digimon Adventure Box. We have two of these to open up here. Definitely really exciting. Now, in comparison to the gift box that was out for EX01, which included a Digivice and the memory gauge and everything like that, which was $60 by the way, really expensive. Uh, $60 Australian of course, but uh, even so, that's well too pricey for four booster packs uh, plus a promo card. In this case, this product here is only 45 Australian dollars. You get the same, well, you get an alternate art promo, which is really nice. But again, you get four packs of this time EX02 as opposed to EX01. And instead of a Digivice, you're also going to get one of these figures. So the thing about this is that you can essentially get one out of the potential eight different figures. So that's really cool. I got two different ones right now. I have Tentamon and Gatomon, but you could also get one of two different uh, promo cards. So what this essentially means is, let's say you are aiming to collect uh, all eight figures, you could potentially then get a full playset of each card, which uh, is definitely really nice. It means that you only really have to buy eight of these, which don't get me wrong, that's really pricey. Like, you're looking at uh, close to $350 just for a lot of these. I mean, that's really pricey, but you are getting four per uh, box of these. So with that being said, you are still getting somewhat of a uh, decent amount of cards because you're essentially opening more than a booster box's worth of cards or packs, which is nice, but keep in mind that these packs don't guarantee you to get uh, the best of cards out there as well since they're randomized uh, in here. But, you know, let's just not waste any more time and let's just open it up. So there is a bit of tape here. So I'm just going to cut it open for each one. And we're going to see what's essentially inside all of these here. So I'm just going to set that aside and we're going to whip out every single one of these. Very nice here, we have Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, which is a very nice card, of course. Uh, we could then just set this here, of course, inside. Uh, we'll take out our packs. So that's four packs here. And we also have our figure, which we'll get to later. But then we can essentially just uh, put this all away. That's fine. And the same thing applies for this one as well. We're gonna just essentially take out our card. Uh, this here is our Mastermon, which is very interesting, of course. Uh, we have our Tentomon figure, and we have our other four packs for this side. So, there we go. And then we can just essentially put this back away, and I'll put away the packaging. Alright, so obviously these are our cards here, our two promos. Uh, very nice promos, I must say. Uh, it's a bit of a texture, as you can feel here. So, because of this uniqueness, this alt art, uh, this extended art, uh, you're essentially getting something pretty special there. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. But uh, with that being said, uh, this product is only as worth it to you if you guys are actually looking for these cards to actually play in your deck. If you're not, then there's really no reason for you to be buying this. Uh, you could just buy a booster box for this and it would be so much cheaper, but uh, even so, it is the novelty of these products alone that make it really interesting. So let's take a look at our figures. Uh, it looks like it does come with some sort of special stand over here as well. So that's really interesting. Uh, I'm going to try and open it up and see how things actually go. So. Is there a special way to open this up? Um, not really. Uh, let's see. Just trying to figure out a way to open this up without damaging these as well. But uh, let me get back to you guys on this. Alright, so this is what we essentially have here. We have our Gatomon, which by the way, this is a uh, 3D figure here, which is really awesome. Uh, we can stand it in some sort of way. I'm not too sure how this is supposed to work. Are we supposed to just stand it like so? I'm not too sure. It doesn't seem to fit in any kind of way, which does seem a bit odd. 
But uh, yeah, with that being said, I mean, I just have this over here. I assume it's just this stand for the figure itself, but uh, with that being said, yeah, I guess that's how it looks like that. Uh, and then we have this as well, which allows it to kind of stand the way it is. Uh, but yeah, that's really interesting. This is obviously our Tentamon figure. Uh, definitely very nice here. Yep. That's really cool, right? So, yeah, these figures are definitely very high quality, definitely very well made. Uh, but we'll set that aside for now. I'm definitely really pleased about it, of course. But I think the most important thing of all is now the packs. So this is from the first box, this is from the second box. So let's see what packs uh, are actually better in this particular case, and uh, let's find out. So, yeah, I don't know anything about the EX sets. Uh, aside from the first one I opened, which was the EX-01. So this is going to be quite interesting to see what we could potentially get here. Um, this one seems to be more the regular art and not so much the classic art. Though it seems to be taken right from the anime, I'm not entirely sure though, just let me know. Uh, so firstly we have over here a rare uh, Renamon and we have here an S, ah nice, Leomon. So keep in mind in this set, uh, I think all rares are going to be um, foil cards, but that's okay. I mean, if anything, that's kind of better. But we did get an SR in the first one, so that's definitely a really good start. Let's see what we get in this particular one here. And let's see how this second box actually goes. So let's find out. In this particular one, what do we have here? We have... Uh, Rika Nonaka as our rare and we have an SR oh, wow a Leomon so that's definitely a really nice start uh, it's essentially saying hey let's build a deck out of this I mean maybe it is it's perhaps I'll consider a sign but yeah that's definitely really interesting to see us getting that uh, I don't know how big this particular set itself is oh no it actually says 74 types that's a very small set so it might be very possible to get everything we need uh, from the very few packs here. So we have over here Kalumon as our rare foil and we have, oh my goodness, that's nice, an SR uh, Golfmon. Now keep in mind, SRs are not guaranteed, so I'm very happy so far with how this is actually going here. Uh, but let's just set that aside and let's move on to the next one and see how we go. All right, so. Let's see what we have over here. So this is definitely really interesting, really nice. Um, again, I'm seeing a lot of duplicates, so it is saying a lot here that uh, this set will be easy to collect. Uh, Mother D Reaper as our rare and there we go. We just have another regular rare here. Uh, it is foil, which is nice, but just a rare Terriamon. So there we go. It's kind of proof that uh, it's not guaranteed that we will be getting a bunch of uh, SRs all the time. But uh, with that being said, let's continue on and let's see what else we could potentially get here. We have our rare Gardramon, which is not too bad, but we have over here another rare. This is Takato Matsuki. Uh, so yeah, so far this side is kind of in the lead, but let's find out what the next one is. So this side was, uh, I think for Tentamon, this side was for Gardomon. So let's find out what we have in this next pack over here and see if the Garamon pack can actually catch up because so far there's two SRs here and there's one SR for this one. But uh, in this one we have a rare Eye and Marco, which is uh, definitely nice. And we have another rare here, this is Renamon. So unfortunately nothing there, but that's fine. I mean the foils make it almost worth it anyway. But the last pack here, for the Tentamon side, so let's find out what we get in this last one. This is going to be uh, quite tense for this last part here. Kalamon, a rare and... Alright, just another rare, but this here is Marine Angemon. Uh, very interesting. I'm not a fan of the mixed colors, but I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. Uh, for now, it does seem a bit odd just to see something like that. But overall, two SRs out of one box, that's okay, I'm happy with that. This one, only one so far, but hey, it could have been worse, could have been like none at all, right? So uh, I'm just gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. But with that being said, let's just see what's in this final pack here. 
We have our rare, which is Gardramon, very nice. And we finally have Takano Matsuki, just another rare. All right, so there we go. Nothing particularly special in uh, that particular box there. It's clear to say that Tentomon is the box that actually won in this particular battle here because there's two SRs as opposed to the one, but it was definitely a fairly close battle. However, with that being said, I would like to thank you guys for actually joining me today and I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. Definitely leave me your thoughts as to what you thought about this particular product, what you thought about my particular pulls. But until then, I hope to see you again, so have a great day.